Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is a wolf. Uh, it's a wolf that I'm uh, in the middle of painting. Um, and I want a grey wash. And I don't have one. So I was sort of scratching my head thinking what to do about this. And then I remembered a video that I saw on another channel. Um, embarrassingly, the name of which escapes me. It used to be Luke's APS, but he's changed it to something. I'll put a link to it either in the description or whatever. Um, but he had this way of making your own washes. So using ink. And I have ink and I have all the other things that he mentioned. So I thought I'd give it a go. So let's get on with it. Um, yeah, so here's Yon Wolf. Uh, now, I have got washes. I've got uh, these really old um, Citadel ones. And I've also got some of uh, the new ones. I've got this one, the Right Flesher. You've seen me use this. This is great. They, they're both great. Um, and basically what this guy came up with was a way of kind of creating something similar to these using inks and media. So basically what we need to do... Let's put those down for a minute. Because it's like I said, I've already got all this stuff, so I thought I might as well give it a go. Uh, so I've got some of this here. This is um, Windsor Newton Matte Medium. And I've got some ink, because uh, I've got tons of bottles of ink. Um, this is muted grey. It's almost like a blue grey. So I'm not quite sure if this is going to quite come out the way I want, but I'll give it a go. Uh, I've got a little bottle, an old Tamiya bottle to mix it up in. And I've also got some... Um, Deionized water, but it's a gallon can, so I can't get that under the camera, so you just have to trust me on that one. Uh, so, let's have a look and see what we can do. So, remembering what he said, the first step oh, is to, oh, if I can get the lid open, we want to put some of this in the bottom of here. And as I recall, he said it was basically just enough to cover the bottom of the jar, which is probably about that much. Oh, get off. That's probably way too much, but never mind. <laughs> now, we want to get our, oh, deionized water. God, this jar, thing's heavy. Ugh. Now, how am I going to do it? Oh, I know, I'll use this. And we'll put in some deionizer. You can use tap water. Um, the trouble with tap water is after a while it will go off. Whereas this deionized water won't. It's basically, I mean, you could do the same thing just by getting some water and boiling it, frankly. Um, right, that should be enough of that. If we need to do more, I can always mix it up in a bigger container. Uh, now, the other thing he said was putting in some flow improver, which he was using dishwater, uh, dishwater, dish soap, rather. I'm going to put a drop or two of isopropyl alcohol. Not too much. That'll do. Uh, we just basically want to... Um, it, it just breaks the surface tension of the water. Right, let's give that a shake. Oh, I've got ink all over my fingers. I haven't even opened the bottle yet. <laughs> Just getting ink all over everything. Right. So let's give that a shake. And now we'll put our ink in. And I don't want a lot of colour in this because I want it quite light, so I'm just going to put two drops in like that and we'll see what that comes out like. Let's put the lid on, give it a shake. Ooh, look at that. Might put a little bit more ink in actually. I might just put one more drop of ink in it. That's it. 
because I say the thing is with inks is they do go an awful long way yeah I think that will do nicely right let's try some on the model and see what it looks like it'll either be wonderful or I'll just ruin the model but it doesn't matter right uh, let's find a suitable brush that'll do Oh, that looks all right, look at that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Let's move that out of the way. I like that, that's very good. Cool. Nice. I think I'm going to make another one of these, but a black one. Because I think that there will be certain areas of this where a little bit of black wash mixed with this wash will go a treat. So, yeah, let's try that. Right, so this is, um, I've got some carbon black ink here. So I'll do the same thing again. I haven't taken the label off this bowl yet, so I can do that afterwards. So put that in there like that, and we need our ooh, the ionized water. God, this thing's heavy. Ooh. drops of alcohol in and then we'll put our ink in it and try not to get it all over my fingers this time oh I can't get the lid off <laughs> there we go <laughs> right I'm just going to put one drop of this in for now see what that looks like so let's put the lid on oh look at that that doesn't look bad does it let's try a bit of that on it and see what it looks like I might put another drop of um, Another drop of the. Uh... Oh, actually, I don't think I need to. I think we'll put one more drop of ink in that and make it a bit darker. Like I say, this this ink in a way it's it's kind of like the pigment that you get with um, to tint resin. A little bit of it goes an awful long way, <laughs> so you can always put more in, but you can't take it back out again. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, I like that.
Yeah, I like that a lot. Wonderful stuff. Right, okay, well, um, that was it really. <laughs> I just thought I'd uh, share that with you and uh, give you some ideas for stuff you can try for yourself. So, um, yes, thank you very much to Luke from uh, Luke's APS or whatever your channel is called now. I will put a link in the in the thing. Um, yeah, that's coming very handy. So uh, do go over to his channel and check because he's got all kinds of stuff like this. He kind of works on the same principle as me. It's like, why go and buy really expensive stuff when you can get the same effects using cheaper stuff? So, you know, a man after my own heart. So, uh, yeah, go and check his channel out because he's got loads of stuff like this. And uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.